thanks for tuning in. If you're like me and are in the process of renovating an RV, then you'll know that one of the easiest and probably cheapest ways of transforming a space is by doing a little bit of painting. But should you use a sprayer or traditional tools like a roller or a brush? I ended up using both methods, so stay tuned and I'll show you my experience with each of them and what ended up working out best. The first thing I did was remove all of the cabinet doors. It's really important to label each of the doors with just a piece of tape and a simple letter or number, just some way for you to know which cabinet they belong to so they get put back in the right spot. Each of the benches had this cushiony fabric that I didn't care for and I wanted to replace, so the next thing I did was cut all of that away and remove it. I really wanted to try using the paint sprayer first and so in order to do that you really have to make sure the area is prepped and masked off as much as possible. You want to mask off any area that you don't want to get painted on. And in order to do that I used this really great product from 3M. It's a scotch blue pre-taped painters plastic and it comes in this dispenser that's really easy to use and you just roll it out, cut it to length, and then it expands to different widths uh, depending on what size you buy and it makes the job of masking things off super simple. The next step is to give the surfaces a light sanding. You want to rough up the surface enough for the paint to stick to so this is a pretty important step but it created a lot of dust so I decided to put my mask on. The sanding created a lot of dust so it's really important to clean it off as much as possible so I ran the vacuum cleaner over all of the surfaces and then also went over it with a damp cloth to wipe up any excess dust. It took a lot of prep work but the space was finally ready for the paint sprayer. I went with the Wagner Flexio 3500 sprayer and this was my first time using it so it took me a few tries to get the settings right but once they got dialed in it was a pretty fun process. painting part was really easy but what I didn't like about using the paint sprayer was that it created so much wind that it just started blowing off all of the plastic masking that I had applied and it I ended up getting a lot of overspray in different areas I followed the same process with all of the doors sanding them down and then cleaning them off and this time my daughter wanted to be involved and help, so I let her do the painting. The last step was to get all of the hardware painted with a black finish and all of the doors reinstalled. And here's the finished product. I really like the ease of using the paint sprayer, but I really didn't like how much prep work was involved and also how much overspray got all over the place. I mean, it really didn't matter how careful I was or how much I taped things down. I ended up finding overspray in all kinds of places and in the end, there were still some spots that didn't cover evenly and I had to touch them up anyway with a brush after the fact. I think for a bigger project, a paint sprayer would be great, but for such a small confined space, I think it ended up being a lot more work and a lot more hassle to use the paint sprayer. So the next day I decided to hand paint this section. I really didn't want to go through all of that prep work that was involved with using the sprayer and painting by hand required a significantly less amount of masking and prep work. 
and would also allow me to get into all the little nooks and crannies of this area. I still sanded the surfaces down like I did before, but this time I did it by hand, which created a lot less dust. And then I went over it again like I did before with a damp cloth to pick up any remaining dust. I cut in all the edges with a brush, but I try to use a roller as much as possible to create a nice even finish. I wish I would have realized it at the time, but you can actually take those panels off of the refrigerator. It would have uh, been a lot easier to paint those panels and also wouldn't have required as much masking. I came back the next morning to finish the second coat. All of the uh, drawer faces were glued on so I wasn't able to remove them but painting by hand allowed me to get into all of those really hard to reach areas and provide really good coverage for all of those spaces. And here's the final product for hand painting. I think it was a very similar finish and it was I think it turned out actually even better than the sprayed on finish. And was a lot quicker, a lot less prep work, and a lot less mess. So here is another look at the original space. And here is the after. What do you guys think? again for watching and for staying until the very end of this video. I really appreciate all of the support and encouragement you guys are all sharing with me. It is truly motivating me to keep going and to keep sharing my progress with you. I hope this video helped you to decide how you're going to attack your next painting project. Uh, let me know in the comments what you're working on or what your project is. I would love to hear about it. And also, I hope you come back and check out some of my next videos. I have planned to show you the entire makeover of this living space, not just the painting, but all of the other things that I've been able to do. And I was able to give you a little sneak peek of it today, but I'm gonna give you a full tour of that very soon. And I also have decided to take a sort of last minute uh, trip in the RV, kind of give it a test run and to try it out. So I'm hoping it works out and I'm hoping to share that with you and show you what uh, I end up doing and where I end up going. Um, I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty cool. So I hope to see you again, but until then I hope you're doing well and having a great summer and I will see you soon.